If you guys are looking for a place to get some reliable ultimate team coins, be sure to check the link in the description below to cointraders.co and use code LEGACY for 5% off of your purchase. Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're playing some more Nature 18 and... We have a very nice looking offense. 97 overall. Just what you guys came here for, am I right? Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. We have built a team today of all Con Smythe winners. Now, before I show you guys the team, I would like to give a quick shout out to the guy that suggested this video, Mr. Um, yeah, I don't think YouTube's gonna let me say that. So we're just gonna call him Patrick Star because that's kind of what his avatar looks like a little bit. You know, with black eyes. I can't even tell if that's supposed to be a mouth or a nose. Anyway, team of all players here. Here she is. Johnny Taze, Sidney Crosby, and Patrick Kane. Now you guys know Sidney Crosby's won two Con Smythe winners. Arguably, well you could argue both, but you know what? <laughs> Very arguably, that first Con Smythe winner was questionable and it should have went to our boy Phil the Thrill, but they decided to give it to Sidney Crosby nonetheless. So Sid the Kid is going to go out there and he's going to take up two Con Smythe spots on this team. Then on the second line, we have Evgeny Malkin. Yes, that is Steve Eiserman. Indeed, Justin Williams. A Joe... Joe, can I say N-word? Can you do that on YouTube? Joe N-word? We're going to go with that. Brad Richards. And then Henrik Zetterberg. The fourth and final line is going to be a line of Los Angeles Kings. Why? Because if you guys can tell by the overalls, I already gave some very good players 85, 84 overalls. And I didn't want to go in there and throw in more Con Smythe winners from like the 90s and then give them like an 80 overall or 79 overall because I can already imagine how many people are going to be hating if I gave Joe Sackick a 79 overall. So we didn't do fourth line and we didn't do a third line on defense. Why? Because I know they're really good players. They deserve the 89, 90 overalls and stuff. But at the same time, we do these videos and as fun as they are to do have a team of all said player, said player, we do want to have some sort of element of surprise where it's like, are they going to win a Stanley Cup and throw in a whole bunch of 88, 89 overalls in a fourth line? I'm pretty sure we got a pretty solid chance of winning the Stanley Cup. At least this way, it's a little bit more competitive. Interesting to see if they can carry that fourth line as well. Moving over to the defense is Scott Niedermeyer, Duncan Keith, Scott Stevens, Nicholas Lidstrom, and then once again, two players off of the Los Angeles Kings. I had to do some digging to get to them deep parents, Scott Stevens, Scott Niedermeyer. Next year though, thankfully, we're gonna be able to get a fifth player on our defensive pairing because once Wierenski wins the con smite this season, we're gonna have five defensemen in the past like decade and a half. But moving over to finally, the goaltending position, we have Johnny Quick, and Cam Ward. And you're like, where in the world did you come up with Cam Ward? Of all the good goalies that played and had a con smite, you chose Cam Ward. Cam Ward's a nice fella, all right? We gotta let him on the team. More importantly, he's in NHL 18. That is the reason we did it, the sole reason. I mean, there's Tim Thomas, there's Patrick Wall, there's plenty of really good goalies that have won the con smite, but they're not in NHL 18. So we decided to try to go by the book here and keep as many NHL 18 relevant players in as possible. Granted, I think, um, does Wall have a hot card this year? See, I don't play hot enough these days. <laughs> but I know Tim Thomas, actually, Tim Thomas might even have a hot card. I think Tim Thomas had one last year. He might not have one yet this year. But regardless, we're going to go and sim with the season like we always do. And I think the big question could be here, a team of Con Smythe winners, who wins the Con Smythe out of a team of Con Smythe winners? But we, we have to win the cup first, though. So we've got to sim with the season. Hopefully, we can take care of business there. I'll catch you guys back when the season is complete. Season's greetings from the one and only Los Angeles Kings, who only had 111 points. And yes, you just seen that correctly. The Arizona Coyotes look like they got themselves a playoff berth. Apparently, no, I got nothing. I have absolutely no reasoning to why the Coyotes made the playoffs this season. But hey, Coyotes fans will take it. The Kings did finish the 111 points, which was best in the league. Surprisingly, with the team we did have, we only had 111 points. I kind of expected us to have a few more. The Blues, Lightning, Caps, Leafs, the Sabres. Turning the league upside down this season, I guess. The Sabres made it. The Coyotes made it. The Sabres almost had 100 in points. How did you guys let the Sabres win 44 games this season? The Penguins had 95 points. The Islanders, Bruins. There's going to be some big teams missing it. The Rangers, Panthers, Canadians missed. Avalanche, the Devils, Stars. Maybe it wasn't some big teams. There's the big team. The Blue Jackets, 83 points. The Blackhawks, 82. 
You expect that out of the Blackhawks. So we literally took like three of the best players because they had so many Conn Smythe winners. Vegas Golden Knights, the Red Wings. Where's the Penguins at? Did the Penguins still make it even without Malkin and Crosby? What did we do? Where were the Penguins at? They was up there in seventh place. They didn't need Crosby or Malkin. Patrick Kane said I would take 101 points though. That's fine. No big deal here. 84 out of Crosby. 80 out of Malkin. 73. 69 out of Richards. Who is the worst performer on the team? We have fourth line King players on our team, obviously. So thankfully, the worst Conn Smythe winner was Nicholas Lidstrom. And then it was Scott Niedermeyer. So we didn't do too bad as a team. 20 points, 28 points, 31 points. We can take that. How did the goaltending look? That's probably where we struggled. Honestly, the goaltending is what killed us. The one we have an 87, 88 overall goalie. And then an 81 overall goalie. That 906 save percentage quick. What are you doing? Was you asleep back there? 906. No wonder we struggled. If that ain't a version of the forwards and defense carried you, I don't know what is. 2.64 goals against average. Come on, quick. I hope you're planning on showing up for the playoffs. You're a con Smythe winner. We need every single bit of that con Smythe potential you got there because playing like that in the postseason is not going to win his games. We got the Coyotes in the first round. If we get swept by the Coyotes, this is Johnny Quick's fault. And it's not looking good. Swept in the first round. Why? What are you doing, Quick? Six to three? Six to two? You gave up four plus goals every game but one. What are you doing? I did not expect to lose in the first round in five games. We could have at least like simmed it and watched ourselves lose. How do you possibly do that? The team was legendary, and we got bounced in the first round by all teams, the Arizona Coyotes. If the Arizona Coyotes win the Stanley Cup, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Cry a little bit? Austin Matthews will be there next season. Sorry, Toronto. I hate to tell you. He's going where the Cups are. Who's winning the Cup, though? Hit us with it. Now hit us with it. The Pittsburgh Penguins. Bye-bye, Crosby. Bye-bye, Malkin. And the Pittsburgh Penguins won the Stanley Cup, though. I can't believe it. The thing is, I wanted to see who'd be the Conn Smythe winner on our team because we was going to win the Conn Smythe, but we didn't win the Conn Smythe. So I'm assuming we're not getting the Conn Smythe this season. That'd be a good assumption. See if we took any hardware at all home. We did the Art Ross, Patty Kane, Memorial Patty Kane, Victor Hedman, James Norris. None of our Conn Smythe and Eases could win ourselves a James Norris. So they Bing, Patty Kane, Brock Besser. I know you guys like seeing that. Brock Besser, I'll repeat it. Brock Besser, Vancouver, called a Memorial. Conn Smythe, Matt Murray. Matt Murray, Conn Smythe. He could have had it last season too, arguably. Vesna. Vasilevsky, William Jennings, Vasilevsky, Master Tone with the Mathot, Selkie Bergeron, Kane, Lindsay, and then Maurice Richard went to Vladimir Tarasenko. So unfortunately for our team, we couldn't bring home a Conn Smythe trophy because we couldn't even get to the Stanley Cup playoff finals. Barely got out of the first round. But otherwise, guys, if there's something else you guys want to see in the future, please do let me know. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.